Doctors could be on the brink of a breakthrough. Migraines. How to control them. Tame a migraine. A severe migraine. Throbbing, recurring headaches. Given all the noise, navigating the migraine experience can be confusing and scary, but you do not have to do it alone. Welcome to the Migraine Guy podcast, the official podcast of themigraineguy.com and theheadachereview.com. Now, here's your host. What is up, Migraine Podience? It is Kevin here, the Migraine Guy, bringing you another edition of the Migraine Guy podcast. It has been a couple weeks uh, since I was able to uh, record, edit, and upload a podcast, and for that, I do apologize. But when you have a busy life and a chronic pain condition, sometimes you just have to cut out certain things in order to keep yourself as healthy as possible and not go crazy. I am sure that every listener here can relate. If you're new to the podcast, on whatever podcast uh, subscription service you are listening to, I hope that you will hit the subscribe button to this podcast so you'll be alerted when I do a new podcast, usually one or two every month, if not three or four on a good month. And if you are listening on an uh, on an Apple or iOS device, I hope that you'll go ahead and leave a five-star review with some kind words about what you like about this podcast. It helps more people find the pod and helps migraine sufferers be connected with others like them so that they know that they are not alone. Our number one mission here on the podcast, excuse me, my throat is getting a bit clogged. I've been having some weird allergy stuff, and so I think that is playing into my voice, kind of being raspier than usual. The normal format for the Migraine Guy podcast involves me giving you a brief update on my own migraine experience, where I'm at with my medications, my doctor, and my lifestyle. Then we hop into a migraine news uh, segment, where we talk about something new or interesting, maybe a, uh, a new study that's been out, a new medication that's out, or a new device that's been released. Then we do a migraine tip of the week, something practical that you can implement into your migraine life. And we final uh, finish up the show. Uh, the final segment of the show is a portion where we devote some time to a migraine listener question or comment or a story from their life. That's the usual format that we try to follow week in and week out here on the podcast. Check out previous episodes to see what that format feels like in a podcast. This week, I don't have a ton of time to do all of the normal uh, deep dives into the things that we talk about. I'm just going to kind of go from the hip for a while and see what comes out of it just to get you something out there uh, uh, as far as podcasts go. That way, you know that I haven't forgotten about you, my lovely audience. So the last few weeks with my migraines have been very, very odd. I have had uh, a couple really, really bad ones, ones that kind of knocked me on my butt, uh, really prevented me from doing anything, even things that I really needed to get done. Um, But overall, I have had a... I don't know if it's a reduction or if to, <clears throat> if I've just been uh, uh, distracted enough with the busyness of work and some other side projects that I'm doing that I haven't uh, been able to really focus on the pain. Um, for example, I'm building a deck for my mother-in-law. I built a shed for ourselves. We had some stuff stolen that we had just sitting in the backyard, which probably wasn't the smartest idea, uh, but we had to build a shed in order to house some of the other stuff that we had. And I found out a couple weeks ago that a teaching position that I was told I was not going to get actually got funding, and so it was offered to me, and so I had to uh, uh, hastily create a syllabus, uh, figure out readings, orient my uh, teaching website for the fall semester, and uh, all of that has happened within the last basically three weeks, and so it was very, very action-packed, 21 days. But things are smoothing out now. The shed is nearly done, just needs its shingles done. The the uh, uh, deck is nearly done. It just needs the decking boards to be delivered so that I can put them on. And the class is a couple weeks... Uh, Uh, Sorry about that noise. The class is now a couple weeks into the semester and is going very well. So things are are starting to calm down, which is why I can spare, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to give you a bit of podcast entertainment. Um, Anything else that's going on? Nothing much. My medications, I've still been doing the Tizanidine Muscle Relaxer. 
I haven't had a prescription for it uh, filled in the last week because as uh, most of you probably know, if you're a longtime listener to the podcast, I cycle four weeks on, two weeks off with the Tizanidine because uh, it builds up in my system and then becomes less effective and then I need to get it out of my system, i.e. take a two-week break and then hop back on it for some migraine relief throughout the day. I've noticed, though, that my allergies have been really bad the last couple weeks, especially since I've been doing more uh, carpentry work, more woodworking work, and been uh, introducing sawdust of various kinds into my respiratory life. And I uh, have noticed that I, I regularly am now waking up with very, very, uh, a very clogged nose, very congested respiratory system, and I am sneezing a lot more. And these seasons around here in Nebraska are starting to change. It's been a little bit cooler this week, and I'm sure different pollens and allergens are being released. Uh, ragweed is still pretty high. Uh, I kind of cycle between having kind of mild allergies and not really having them. But these last couple weeks, three weeks or so since I've been doing all of this um, carpentry and construction type work, I've noticed that uh, my sneezing is through the roof uh, and my kind of waking up with a, a kind of a groggy feeling like I was kind of smacked in the head feeling has been increased. Um, but as I said, my migraine pain uh, while I'm doing these jobs has not uh, been interfering. It, 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 In fact, it seems to have gone down a little bit, though I have had a couple more intense ones, uh, you know, something in the six to eight pain scale than is usual. And so I don't really know if it's a benefit or a curse. Uh, you know, I'm getting less overall migraines this past month, but the ones that do hit knock me on my butt, whereas usually I get lots of migraines in that three to four, maybe five pain range, which I can be functional with, I can I can go through life with, um, but, but it's constant, whereas this past month, they haven't been constant, but the ones that do hit really hit hard. So just a weird, you know, new chapter in the old migraine life, especially when you get them chronically. If you get them over 15 times a month, I'm sure this stuff is pretty darn normal, um, as well as stuff like seasonal changes and allergy changes. So nah, I don't think it's anything important to talk to the doctor about. It's just kind of a normal transition. I do want to give a special shout out to my Patreon members. Uh, I did get a couple new uh, people who have subscribed to the donation list, people who find this content uh, not only valuable, but important enough to invest a little bit of money in each month. Patreon is a, a website that you can go to, patreon.com slash the migraine guy. And you can see that you can subscribe to donate a particular amount as low as $1 a month to me to help me keep going with all of the migraine advocacy that I try to do both on the YouTube channel as well as in this podcast and on top of all the stuff that I try to do fairly regularly on social media. I like to do a lot of interviews with people when I can get them uh, scheduled. That is usually the biggest hurdle. I do have a couple uh, really, really interesting um, um, interviews coming up for podcast in the next month. Someone who gets migralepsy and is trying to uh, orchestrate his own social media presence has reached out to me and wants to collaborate on some future projects, which I'm really excited about because um, uh, he, he has been very, very uh, uh, vulnerable with me and shared with me some videos of him actually getting a seizure followed by a very intense migraine. And they are just heartbreaking to watch. And so um, I'm, I'm excited to bring that kind of advocacy to a condition, migralepsy, getting migraines and epilepsy, uh, which is very, very misunderstood in not only the migraine community, but the epilepsy community, the neurological community at large. Um, and then I have another person who is reaching out to me, who is the CEO of a company bringing a new uh, oxygen-based relief device for migraine sufferers who wants to do an interview on the podcast. Of course, that's going to be some free advertising for them. But if it's a product that could help some people, and I, uh, I'm going to clear some stuff with him up front first before we do the interview, just so he knows the kind of questions and stuff that I'll ask and the kind of protections that I want to keep in place for my audience. Um, but assuming he's cool with all of that, it'll be a pretty cool interview too. So those are the kind of things you can get on this podcast. And if you become a Patreon supporter, you will be helping to uh, uh, to support, helping to get me me, uh, give me the ability to bring you these kind of things, you know, hosting the podcast. It doesn't take a lot of money, but it does take some money having uh, things like microphone quality and software quality that can allow me to, uh, you know, be somewhat professional do cost a little bit of money. 
And over time, those kind of things also need to be upgraded because of uh, just normal technological degradation. And so if you want to become a Patreon supporter, you can do that at patreon.com slash the migraine guy. And again, even if it's just a dollar a month, if I had, uh, you know, about half my listeners who did that, that would be a substantial amount of money to me and would help me cover lots and lots of the expenses associated with the migraine guy stuff. And on top of that, if, you know, this did turn into some sort of like part time income because of the generosity of my viewers and listeners, um, then I would be able to do even more. And so it's kind of a reciprocal relationship where if, if you find it valuable and want to invest in me, I will reciprocate by investing in you with quality migraine content. So if that's the kind of thing you would like to do, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll try, you know, Patreon allows you to do certain special things to your uh, uh, supporters and you can give them, uh, you know, exclusive content, have one-on-one sessions with them if that's the kind of thing they want or have group chats. Um, and so maybe if I get a few more supporters, that'd be something I would try to incorporate into the whole migraine guy, uh, experience as it were. Um, anything else going on? There's lots of cool stuff coming up uh, with some of the neurological devices and some migraine medications that are going to be coming out in the next couple years. Uh, I definitely am trying to get a couple uh, neuro- neurologists to do some interviews about some of them uh, and what they know, things that they keep up on that I am not able to either comprehend because the studies are too technical or because I just don't have all the time uh, in the world to uh, keep up to date on uh, neurological issues because it's not my job. I have other things that I need to do. So I'm hoping to get some of that stuff going too. I'm not really sure there's much else going on. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to it not being a hundred degrees with 80% humidity around here. Uh, pretty soon today was gorgeous, man. It woke up, it was like 65 degrees and got about 75 degrees. Then there was a light rain and I was able to get some stuff done outside. So I'm hoping that kind of weather continues because, you know, if you can get outside for a little bit and just enjoy nature, uh, that, that does do some uh, tremendous benefits for your mood, even if you have a, a kind of low uh, pain migraine, something in that two to four range, I find just being outside is very helpful. Uh, at least for me, I don't know why I kind of went on that little tangent there. I'm just kind of hoping that the weather stays good. So got to do some uh, small road tripping in the next couple weeks, visit some family and take care of some business. And so I'm definitely going to try to get a regular uh, four segment podcast out to you next week. I might even try to record one uh, either Saturday or Sunday and then set it to upload next week sometime. That way I don't have to try to fit it in next week because next week will again be busy. But as usual, you know, everything that goes on here at the Migraine Guy is oriented around connecting migraine sufferers with one another, not because I have anything unique or special to offer. Uh, In fact, I'm I'm a pretty firm believer that I do not have anything uh, very unique or special to offer. But what I can do is try to connect migraine sufferers, people who are sometimes either ostracized by family, friends, coworkers, et cetera, or just entirely isolated because their, their pain level is so high that their ability to leave the house, to connect with people is, is at a minimum. And sometimes the only access they have to the outside world is the five or 10 minutes they can spend on Facebook, uh, or the, you know, 10 or 20 minutes they can, they can devote to listening to a podcast, um, or watch a, a, a quick YouTube video. And so if that's, uh, your condition, if that's where you find yourself right now. Uh, the, the entire reason that um, this podcast exists, that the YouTube channel exists, that the, the Migraine Guy social media presence exists is so that you can be connected with other people who are in your circumstance. Sometimes people who have been doing this for 10 or 20 or 50 years have uh, tips and tricks that we would never think of. People who um, have, have faced family, uh, uh, you know, rejection or work, uh, you know, criticism or even being fired or being rejected from getting disability can have uh, really, really important things to share with those of us who are, are not at their uh, pain uh, uh, career level yet. And so if you are one of those people, I hope you'll reach out to me on social media if you need someone to talk to, as well as if you need a support group, I have one on Facebook. Just search the Migraine Guy support group and we'll get you connected with some awesome migraine warriors. And as usual, uh, the whole reason, you know, I say this every week and it's entirely true, we do this because we want you, I want you to know that just because you're in chronic pain does not mean you are alone. You are not alone.